right, so let's take a look at some homework problems. Uh, one thing that I did also uh, is I posted practice A5. It's not mandatory that you do that, uh, but I figured some of you might want the extra practice, so that's there for you if you want extra practice. So I'm going to try to do some of these homework problems, uh, and let's take a look. So 513, taking a look at number 8. <coughs> peanut butter and jelly sandwich, so my be a little sticky. Uh, Alright, so number 8, it says we have f of x, where d of x equals 6x to the third, plus 6x squared minus 15x minus 2. Now the problem is that we to list the possible roots, so this is step number 3. We're not looking for what they could, we're not looking for what they are, we're looking for the p over q values. Factors of 2 over factors of 6. Would give us 1 over 1, 1 over 2, 1 over 3, 1 over 6. Factors of 2 over factors of 6 would be 2 over 1, 2 over 2 we already have, 2 over 3. And 2 over 6 we already have. That would be the answer for number 8. Taking a look at some of these other problems. Uh, number 25, 26, 33, and 34. Um, Alright, I think I'll do number 33, 34. Uh, 33, 34, and 36. <clears throat> All right, so let's try these out here. All right, so number 33. It's asking us to find all of the roots. So for 33, the problem says we have 48 x to the fourth. 52x to the third plus 13x minus 3. So, uh, the number of positive roots, positive, negative, positive, negative, negative roots, positive, positive, negative, negative. The over q's are going to be fun. Factors of Three over factors of 48. So this is going to be a long list. One, two, three, four, uh, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. this in my calculator. Uh, 16. I think it's 24 and then 48. So we have a lot of different options. So if we write all these possibilities, plus or minus 1 over 1, Also have three over one, three over two, three over three we already have, three over four, three over six we already have, three over eight, running out of room, three over twelve we already have, three over sixteen. 
19. 3 over 24 we already have. And 3 over 48 we already have. So those are all the different options. Uh, so just say this time the time we would have to store numbers until we get something that works. Uh, for number 33, uh, it looks like one third works. If you store one third for A, we get a remainder of zero, which means one third is one of the four roots. So using synthetic division, remember we're missing an X to the second, so we put zero there. <laughs> uh, and I do think we could, let me see here, we have 48x to the third, minus 36x squared, minus 12x, plus 9, so we could take a 12 out. Well, 12x squared comes out. We take a 3, negative 3 out of this. We get 4x minus 3 times 12x squared minus 3. So x would be 3 fourths, that's another root. So we have 2, the other 2 are going to come from here. 12x squared equals 3. x squared equals 3 over 12. And it looks like the other 2 roots are going to be uh, plus or minus 1 half. Those would give us the 4 roots. So it's long, but I wouldn't say it's a hard problem. Uh, let's see, 34. There's a dog barking in the background here. For 34, it says 6x to the third plus 5x squared minus 9x plus 2. Positive, negative, and p over q. And then the roots. over 1, 2 over 2 we already have, 2 over 3, and then 2 over 6 we already have. <clears throat> so those are the roots that could work, uh, and then we would plug them in until we get roots that work. Uh, so for number 34, uh, eventually if you store these, uh, you get to 2 thirds, and if you store for A you get a remainder of nothing. All the other positive roots, it doesn't look like they're going to work, uh, but two-thirds does. <clears throat> so sometimes it takes a little while, uh, but two-thirds is definitely a root. So if we do synthetic division, divide both sides by 3. I can't think of numbers that multiply to be negative 2 and add up to be 3. So <clears throat> if we factor out a 2, we're going to have fractions with completing the square. So even though you could do that, for me, I'm going to use quadratic formula. Uh, 
uh, 9 plus 8 is 17. And it looks like that would be the other two answers. So that would give us all three. All right, maybe we'll do one more. Let's take a look at number, uh, what do we have here? 36. All right, so number 36, it says we have 5x to the fourth minus 29x to the third plus 55x squared minus 28x. Uh, right away, we don't have to go into rational root theorem. I could see we could take out an x from everything. Which gives us one of the roots of zero. But then from this, I don't think that's going to factor, so we have to use rational root theorem. Those number of positive roots, negative roots, p over q. And then we're going to find the roots. no negative, so that'll be nice. We don't have to worry about those. But for p over q, we're going to list factors of 28. So 1, 2, 3 doesn't work. Um, 4, uh, 4 would work. 5, um, no. 6, no. 7 does. 8, no. 9, no, 10, no, 11, 12, 13, 14, 28, over factors of 5. So if we were to write all these out, Alright, so now we just have to store all of them. It looks like there's no negative, so that's helpful. Uh, we only have to store the positive ones. Uh, and we already have one of the roots of zero. So eventually, if you start storing the positive roots, you'll land on four fifths. So I'm not going to show you all that. The remainder wouldn't be zero until you get to four fifths. Let's do synthetic division to get the remaining ones. So we get 5x squared minus 25x. 35 equals 0. Let's factor out a 5. And if we divide by 5, we could find the remaining roots here. Completing the square would give us a fraction. So I'm just going to go ahead and use quadratic formula. The opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Give us 5 plus or minus, um, let me see here, 25 minus 28 is the square root of negative 3 over 2. So it looks like the remaining roots would be 5 plus or minus i root 3 over 2. We had 4 fifths and we had 0 from the start. Now I attached practice 5. It's not necessary to do that, but I know some of you like extra practice, so it's optional if you'd like to do that. Stay tuned for the lesson.